Hold the contraction, yeah? Good. Nice. Good. Two more. Right back. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. When you've done a couple of one or two force reps, I'll throw it down to the bottom and you bring it up really slow. Okay, just lock it up, man. Right back. Squeeze. Yeah, easy. Two, nice. Three, four, easy. Five, six, easy. Seven, eight, two more, come on. Nine, right back. Squeeze, ten, and again. Squeeze it right back. One more. Squeeze it right back. Slow, 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 slow. I'm taking it down now. That's yours. Hold, hold, hold. One more. Hold. Last one, come on. Hold it there. Good. Good, 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 good. So you keep your back arch, yeah? And go down as far as you can. Let the weight go, go forward. And then when you come back, let it come in. So you're gonna go like that. That's as far as I can go now with my back arch, yeah? Of course, if I collapse it like this, of course I can go all the way down, but it's just putting a lot of strain on my back, yeah? So keep the back arch, go here. You're probably gonna go like just below your knees, mid, mid, mid chin, yeah? And then the weight's here, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna leave it with my hamstrings. Lock it up, yeah? Keep your glutes and hamstrings tight. Arch your back. That's it, nice. Move. Keep it tight, yeah? Squeeze. Keep the arch on the back, yeah? Head up. That's it, there. Pull. Nice. As you go heavier, do you still use a conventional grip or do you go overhand? Uh, you don't need to go overhand, man. Put your thumb around the bar though. You had your thumbs like that, it's just, yeah. just going to be a weak grip like that. If your grip's giving out, it's use straps. You're just going to put a strain on that, bi that bicep that's reversed. Ryan, right, Chris, nice and tight, yeah? Let's finish them up, man. Some big hamstrings hanging out your ass, come on. Tight. Squeeze it up, yeah? Keep that back arch. Squeeze it up, don't overstretch. So with the hamstrings, in, good, in, nice, squeeze in, good, up, two more man, come on, nice tight reps, yep, and squeeze, don't get sloppy man, keep it tight, and up, yes, good man. If you had weak calves, then I would say do them on, an, on another day or do them first, you know? You, you're telling me I've got great calf story. You've got great calves because oh, you, you come from the United Kingdom. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right up on your toes and squeeze it. Up. Oh. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Nine. Push. Ten. Two more. 11, one more. Good. Good. Yeah, rest pause, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to failure. Then he's gonna have like a little 10 second break, walk around, jump on, go to failure again. We're gonna do that three times, just like a super intense calf set, you know? Basically like going to failure three times within one set rather than just going once. Big stretch, full range, yeah? Big stretch, right up now. Good, that's good man. Two. Three, four, push, ten, one more, on your toes, drive, okay, good, back it, walk and breathe, four or five reps, yeah, big stretch, one, two, three, two more, all oh, right on your toes, one more, right on your toes, good, rack it, one more, last one, last one, let's go. 
Three or four reps, man. Good ones. Stretch down. One. Right on your toes. Higher. Two. Good. Three. Push. Squeeze. Four. Last one. Everything. Go. Push. Okay, good. You need a full range on calves, man. If you look at a ballet dancer, they don't even use any weights, so they got developed calves because they're on their toes all the time. You ready? Yep. Okay. Nice, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Your way. Right up. Two. Three. Four is yours. Come on. Five. Finish strong, man. Six. All the way. Seven. One more. Up, 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 up. Good man. Leg training, training to failure is, is super intense. A lot of people think that training to failure, well, they're not. So when, when you have to go that extra mile, it's like a shock for your system if you're not used to it. It's easy to go to failure on biceps because it's not taxing your system that much. There's not that much oxygen. But if you take your legs to real, true failure, there's a lot of stress on your system and it takes a certain amount of conditioning to, to be used to it. You need so much oxygen. Imagine your glutes and your quads. It's like half the muscle in your whole body. Taking those to failure is this huge demand you know, for oxygen. If your cardio system's not that good, it can be pretty rough for a while, an hour maximum. You can't keep up this pace for more than an hour. The only way you can train longer than this is to pace yourself in, on each set. But then you're working below you, the threshold that you need to stimulate new growth. So all you're doing is just spinning your wheels, maintaining, you know?